Nigel, no, you're not one to get carried away. How important was the win tonight? Yeah, I think it's pivotal for the players to be able to see a game out, which we've, you know, I mean, we we took a two-goal lead and conceded another, yeah, maybe avoidable goal um, and conceded a late one to make it a bit more of a nerve, <laughs> a nerve-rattling or a nerve-shredding experience. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we saw it out in the end, and that's the most important thing. You changed the setup, yeah. and it did pay off with those two goals in the first 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, but look, it, it's. I mean, that just shows you how players can be innovative out in the field. You know, we've not done a lot of work on long throws, but so what? Thomas uh, decides he's going to produce something different, and uh, you know, to to get off to the start like that was very important for us. Um, yeah, so to go two up was was I think probably settled people down, but the last few minutes, of course, when fatigue setting in and we've experienced conceding late goals before it's you know that it does build anxiety within the players and i suppose our fans too it was yeah, a bit nerve rattling but there we go cam prings waited a long time for his league debut how did he quit himself tonight excellent very good you know for a lad who uh, doesn't or hasn't felt a part of the club because he's been loaned out what we have to say though in that is he's gained lots of league experience, but uh, as I said to you before, I spoke to him at the close of last season, he just didn't feel as though he was a part of it. So for him to play his way into contention and for him to get the round of applause that he had in the dressing room after the game from his teammates, is testament to, I think, what he did tonight. And that is he played a part of a pretty solid team performance, looked a threat going on the outside. So with Callum, um, you know, not being available, it gives us another option of, of width. And he's, I really like the idea of playing two full backs on the same side because it gives them both a license to get forward. And if Jay fancies uh, occasionally overlapping, which he seems a bit reluctant at the minute, but he's, listen, he's a, he's a good player. They played well together and they did what the team needed. And that's, um, yeah, that's good. Callum was here tonight, he was in the away yeah, end. Good, good. That support. They've waited a long time for yeah, that yeah. league win, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. And they probably, uh, when we went to 3-2, probably sort of started thinking, oh my God, here we go again. But look, we share their uh, their anxiety. And I think it's really important for the players to see a game out. And, you know, they still, I still get infuriated when we don't go into the corner and just um, um, show a bit of gamesmanship. But having said that, it's a really good win for us. Um, and it's important to look at what we did well and what we didn't do well, as you do with all results. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We've got to turn around quickly now. It is a tight turnaround. Andy King came uh, off. Yeah, we'll, we'll assess him. When the players get back tonight, they'll go in the cryotherapy, so it'll probably give them a little bit of a extra um, help in terms of uh, the the recovery minimalize any sort of minor bleeds that players get from from long matches and plenty of fatigue and contact so we'll see but uh, if we have to make changes we make changes I thought Han Noah did great when he went on he got to the pace of it and he played the way that the team needed us or needed him to play for us um, I quite like uh, Nathan Baker's attitude though as well you know because uh, well I just said to him that um, if Pringy sort of blows up at some point in the second half as he had a, ever played left back and he went yeah I'll have a go and I like that so um, he said it with a smile on his face and this is the lad by the way he was left out and not done a lot wrong so um, that we need that we need that mentality within the squad to put personal disappointment to one side and do a job for the team because players will get their opportunity um, the miserable ones if they get an opportunity, they won't be able to take it. So, as far as I'm concerned, um, it's about recognising where you are within the group. And for me, it's all about the team. It's not about individuals. Speaking of opportunities, Andy Vyman took yeah. his two, Chris yeah. Martin another one. Yeah, yeah. Did you like what you see with those two at the top? Yeah, but I know I know that they combine well, and I'm I'm aware of their desire to play together. But I think Alex has done well in the 10 position. Casey likes playing in the 10 position. But I just think on days like today when we need a solid foundation of hard graft, 4-4-1-1, one, one, 
works pretty well for us or four two three one however we want to dress it up but they work well as a pair and i thought alex uh scott did pretty well but it's you know my expectations of him are probably a bit more realistic so he had another good um uh, she had some really nice touches especially for the third goal um so some positive things yeah